Sitir. So I came out here last night, probably about 11 o'clock or so, and um, I basically just came out to the uh, to about here, and then I heard rustling, like right there, and I just missed <laughs> it. I thought it was the dog. I thought, oh, there's Kaya, because she usually yeah, she likes to chase uh, I think a couple of mice or maybe a chipmunk under the, uh, the cabin, so she's usually there. So I heard this rustling in the leaves. And my first thought is, oh, it's the dog. And then I'm, and then my next thought is, the dog is like not outside. The dog is inside. Um, and then I heard scrambling, and I heard it take off through the brush, and I actually heard it crash uh, into. I've got there's a wire fence there, so I heard it crash into the fence and sort of scamper off. I didn't know what it was. Um, the dog started barking a little bit, um, but I assumed that it was a uh, I don't know a raccoon or skunk. Although it sounded a little bigger and, and quite a bit faster than either of those guys would be. But again, didn't think much of it. So I'm literally standing here and I hear growling. And growling that I thought was a... Uh, I was thinking, is it the neighbor's dog? Because once in a while the dog gets out and comes over here. Um, but this was growling like guttural... Real... Yeah, guy is. <laughs> Just like that. Um, by the way, Kai, that's Kai's job, is she's uh, pulled that out because that's, I think, where the mice are hiding from her. Um, I turn on my headlamp and right standing just, uh, just past the tree a little bit was a, just two eyes glowing back at me and this growling that I've never heard growling like this. So I assume it's a bear and I go into the cap. Um, but this thing wasn't moving. It was we just sort of we stared at each other for a few seconds, and then I was like, "Okay, time for me to go." Um, that's when Kaya really started barking, and uh, it was coyotes. I've got a video clip of, of a few, I don't know, about a minute or so after I got back into the cabin, um, and these coyotes hung around for a good a good few minutes, anyways. Um, and it seemed to me I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I did go out and uh, uh, started the generator. And uh, they were, it sounded like they were circling the cabin because I could hear branches snapping um, in the bush around the cabin uh, at different places. So anyways, that's, a, that's the closest I've ever been to a coyote and, and really the closest I'd like to be. Oh, Kaya, you're making a mess down here, eh? Aren't you? Um, and Kaya was quite nervous. She was really, they were having a bark off for, uh, for a little while. All right, let's go put this back in. I know. Oh, very exciting. Very exciting. Hey, oh, Kaya, get, come here. Get over here. You come here. Get down here. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, that's my uh, coyote story. Bless up. Quiet. Quiet.
that's enough. Sit down. Sit down. Good girl. 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 Was literally right outside the cabin. I, uh, when I went outside, I uh, it was probably ten feet away from me. No, that's that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough, buddy. That's enough.